everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and on this channel I love to talk about all things motherhood and toddler for the most part, but on occasion I love to throw in the odd home renovation and speed cleaning video for your entertainment too. So if that's the kind of content you enjoy watching, I would love it if you went ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, press the notification bell for future videos and if you enjoyed this video it would mean the world to me if you went ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. So in today's video, I'm talking toddler and my favorite ways to entertain a toddler. These might sound like very obvious activities to some, but I feel like in today's day and age, it's very easy to set your child up in front of the TV and allow them a couple of hours in front of YouTube or Netflix, Coco Melon, anyone whilst you get on with some house duties or errands. I've fallen victim to allow my 17 month old son Graylin to sit and watch TV whilst I edit a video, for example, no shame in admitting that and I certainly wouldn't shame anyone else for doing that also. You need to do what you need to do to keep your frame of mind at peace. But I thought I'd share some very simple activities for those who want to try and step away from that kind of routine of popping the child in front of the TV and rather engaging in some one-to-one -one development activities which are free or low cost and are rewarding for both toddler and parent. So first and foremost, my favorite activity is a very obvious one, but a beneficial one nonetheless. My favorite activity to entertain a toddler is to take them outdoors. There's so much you can do for free when you're outdoors and it kills a couple of hours in the process if you've got the time to take them out. My toddler absolutely loves going to the park and exploring the park equipment. So that's the first place we go to when we go outdoors. If we're not at the park, I like to do a bit of toddler led walking where I take them out with a the pram in a safe open space and allow him to just walk or run around wherever he wants to go and wherever he wants to explore whilst being amongst nature at the same time which is obviously a big plus. Like I said for the most part it's free or low cost, it tires your toddler out very easily and it's great for getting both you and your toddler some much needed fresh air and vitamin D. Very important for a grown toddler and what a better way to get some vitamin D than as nature intended from the sun. I don't know about you but when I've been out in the fresh air for an hour or so I'm exhausted and want to snap when I get back in the house and that's exactly what happens to my toddler after he's outside. It's a great activity before nap time or not long before bedtime to allow them to naturally fall asleep after using up all that energy. My next activity I love to do with my toddler grilling is to get creative and crafty. Some days it's just drawing or painting on some paper, some days it's making crafts of some sort. I particularly enjoy the crafts you can make with things that are lying around the house. A great one to get crafty with is to take a clear ziplock bag and to squirt some paint into it, seal it up and allow your toddler to paint some shapes and patterns into it with a finger without the worry and stress of getting paint all over their clothes. You can buy mess-free paints which are a great way to protect your surfaces and toddler's clothing whilst giving your toddler the satisfaction of being as wild as the one with the paint. You might like to keep some of the crafts your little one makes. I have a box at home where I put any of his crafts in that he makes either at home or at nursery for safekeeping. I'm not sure at what stage I'll stop doing this though. How old was your child before you stopped keeping drawings and crafts for sentimental value? Leave me a comment down below. The next activity I love to do with my toddler and is probably Graylin's favourite activity in the whole wide world is to play with water. He was introduced to water at a very young age and so he's very happy to be amongst the water. Except for the cost of running the water, it's a super cheap activity to do with your toddler. You don't even need to run a bath for them to play in. Just lay a towel down on the floor, fill up a small bucket and throw in a couple of bath toys and your child is set for a good 30 minutes to an hour. Obviously this is a supervisory activity so don't ever leave your child to play with the water unattended but if you've got an hour to spare you'll get so much joy watching your child having fun splashing in the water. Some swimming baths even have free parent and child swimming sessions throughout the school holidays. Definitely go ahead and check with your local swimming baths to see if that's something they offer as obviously it's an inexpensive way to get your toddler used to the water and to practice swimming if it's something they've not had the chance to do yet. My fourth favourite activity to have my toddler do for entertainment is to get them playing with toddler friendly puzzles. I'm talking about the type of puzzles where your toddler is working their brains to figure out what shapes go into what holes or what cups stack onto each other. Graylin gets so much entertainment by putting himself into objects, hiding from people. Obviously you should supervise your child if planning to do this as an activity so you know where your child is hiding 
and ensuring that the hiding in objects that won't pose a hazard to them. Grilla loves to put things in and out of objects so he's going to get enjoyment from doing this with himself. It did start off with putting the recycling bin over his head but we didn't like the idea of him doing that so we actually have a netted laundry basket which he loves to hide in. Toddlers will spend hours trying to figure out different shapes so make sure you've got a wide variety of objects that they can play with. And finally, my last activity for entertaining the toddler is to get them to a toddler group. I live in a relatively small area, but thankfully the two toddler groups that are available at my area are either free to attend or just require a small donation to be made to keep the group running, which obviously I don't mind paying for as it keeps the establishment open for my toddler to meet and play with other toddlers. Not only is it an inexpensive way to have children make new friends and to develop the communication skills with each other, it's a space for you and other parents to meet and to have time together that you'd not normally have. Trust me, if it wasn't for the toddler groups I take real into, I'd really struggle to come out with my shell and would decide to stay in the house most of the day. This activity is extremely beneficial for both you and your toddler. These toddler groups also give you ideas on different fun and free things to make and do with your toddler. So don't pass up the opportunity to learn some new skills if you have the time to go to a toddler group. So there were my five favourite ways to entertain a toddler. As I said, they may seem like very obvious ones to be doing, but some parents may struggle to get a little creative whilst trying to navigate their own busy lifestyle. And hopefully these will just give them a push to come out with their usual toddler routine of entertaining them the easy way or the less one-to-one -one engaging way. I would love to hear of some activities you like to do with your own toddler. Please leave them in the comments down below as I would love to try some out for myself. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you went ahead and gave this video a big thumbs up as it really does help out my channel. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. As ever, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care guys, bye.